Honest J. Nowak. Coming at you live. All right. A pleasure to meet y'all at last, and welcome back to Honest J. Nowak Graphics. So now for today, we're going to get on with some more content. And we're also going to be, well, I tell you, this one shirt I've had for pretty much the longest, seven and a half consecutive running years of having this shirt in my possession. It is gigantic on me right now, and well... <laughs> I don't know if you could see it, but it's just so big. I've had to have it, have it tucked in just because really baggy stuff is really embarrassing the way I see it. But let's go ahead and just get on with the content here. We have number 805, another game involving some fantasy, some action called No Man's Sky. This was released in 2016, the same year as a large abundance of other games out there, like Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. But you know what though? It's probably fair to say that most games from 2016 probably were not very well adapted or very well suitable for most players of this era because by now it was a pretty huge time for a lot of YouTubers and the like to pretty much put out whatever they can just to gain a lot of views and a lot of clout. The following year, of course, would be perceived as way worse. As a matter of fact, I've considered 2017 to be the worst year of all time at the time that happened. But look where we are now, four years later, and, well, some things had improved in 2018, 2019, but 2021, just, no. Absolutely not. I'd much rather stay in 2020 as far as I'm concerned. At least there, it started off perfectly fine. So, anyways. No Man's Sky, again. The year 2016 probably was not a very good year for gaming. And most of the titles and the kind of criticism that they've received, a lot of the ratings that have been put down, have reflected on this whole entire trend itself. And No Man's Sky was one of the many things that Watch Mojo had declared to be some of the worst games on the PS4 by this point. And there are loads of other games out there that are terrible by any means. But nonetheless, I still went ahead and played it. For a little while at least, last September. So it's been a full year since that happened. I was able to pick up a copy of it at a GameStop after I brought in a large stack of 11 different games. I went ahead and traded them in for a pretty nice big credit in store, which I was able to use to buy two games and still have some more remaining, but then eventually I would end up just trading it all in just for cash, which I was able to get about 50 bucks for it. Which is still okay by any means, but... From what I can gather, No Man's Sky was one of many picks that I decided to do, even though it was bad. And the main reason was because, well, gaming with Kaiju Force Neo already has so many good games put into it. Ark, Red Dead Redemption, Resident Evil, Detroit Become Human, Need for Speed, and the majority of Call of Duty installments that we've seen on the PS4. Pretty much. And even though that series is still ongoing pretty well, it's safe to say that No Man's Sky probably will not be seeing the light of day. What it is, is basically something that's a little bit more unusual by any means. It's almost the same formatting as various other games out there where you collect certain materials on certain uncharted planets and other sorts of exoterrestrial sorts of explorations that take place. This game really does allow you to in fact explore different environments different planets that you can colonize yourself and attempt to build different research buildings and complexes that you can inhabit and be able to adapt to certain environments. And this game really does a lot to try and be as real as possible, but unfortunately speaking, even the amount that I was able to play on it for about seven, eight hours pretty much, it probably was not necessarily worth it. Maybe not for all the right reasons though. 
because let's just say it does try to be intuitive and for something that was released only five years ago I will say it's probably not not worth it not totally not worth it the game does really give you a lot of insights a lot of ways that you can use different technologies and be able to create different things that you can use to be able to escape from different planets or other sorts of hazards that could be in the way. But it also allows you to use different types of equipment meant for gathering items, materials of all sorts, ranging from gold, metalloids, plastics, wood, and plant life, pretty much. Sometimes you can use that as a way of sustenance, or you can use that as a way of creating other sorts of synthetic materials. But No Man's Sky, nonetheless, really has a lot that you might end up overlooking simply because of the fact that it's redundancy, it's low reception, it's high criticism, and a lot of other things relying on how long it's been out for, and even then nothing has pretty much changed for the better, it pretty much just remains the same. This is just part of the reason why a lot of people just don't tend to have a good time out there looking at these certain things. Many people just don't give certain titles out there a chance, mostly because of how high things have been overlooked on it and the value that is usually perceived by most. And the fact that I was able to play it in 2020, four years after its initial release on the PS4, it really says a lot. The fact that I'm going to go as far as to play a bad game in recent years, it really shows that I have a huge status a cult follower, a huge cult follower, but I'm more of a seeker. I tend to be more like many people out there whom examine a lot of things that are retro, a lot of movies that are extremely obscured, a lot of games, a lot of novels, a lot of music by different artists and bands that have been long defunct or have had a seriously short life, pretty much. I tend to be one of those kind of people usually. And I tell you, there's just so many ways that I could put it together. But yet, that's just not necessarily the point here. The point is, No Man's Sky was one of a handful of titles that I played that so many people would rather reject or even just throw out simply because of a lot of the things that people have been saying about it. But yet, it's not the only title that I was able to play that so much hate was directed towards. Yet, we're going to go ahead and get, with, get on with some more of that as time goes on. But, if you want to see more go down on my channel, then make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.